I'm sure you've noticed this and probably even been annoyed by it. You're in a brightly lit room at night, you go outside, particularly on a dark night, and everything goes black. And after a while, you start to see things dimly, and slowly your vision returns. Until, in the end, unless it's an absolutely pitch black night, you can see quite well. Trouble is then, you need to see where you're going, and you turn a torch on. You look at your map like this, or you might have to go inside again and look at the bright light, turn off the torch, and everything goes black again. And you have to wait until your vision slowly returns. It takes a long time, about 15 minutes, and it's a terrific bore if you're out bushwalking or looking for animals or doing something like that. But there is a simple way that you can beat the system. But before I show you that, let's see what's happening in the eye when all of that goes on. You see, at the back of the eye, there's a part called the retina. And it's got two sorts of receptors. They're light receptors. One of them, in the middle of the eye, is coloured red there, and they are the cones. They work on coloured light, and they work on bright light particularly. All around them, there are other receptors called the rods. And I've put them in black because they don't work on colour at all. But they're the ones you use in dim illumination, like a not very well lit night. Well, let's put all that together and see what happens. Let's say you want to go and look at your map when you're dark adapted. You got used to the dark. Instead of just putting a light on like that, cover it with red cellophane. What we're trying to do here is use only the cones. Since it's the rods that are good in low illumination, and sort of dim illumination, we don't want to stimulate them at all. And since they don't work under colour light, let's uh, use coloured light for everything. Put the red cellophane on the torch, carry it in the rucksack like that, and when you have to, read your map by red light. It'll work perfectly well, but all you're using there are the cones. And as soon as you turn your torch off, you can keep on using your rods, which have been unaffected by the coloured light. Or if you have to go inside, you'll need slightly more elaborate preparations, but they're not too complex. You make yourself a pair of sunglasses out of cardboard. Make sure they are the really snazzy wraparound variety, because you don't want any light getting into your eyes. If you're satisfied that they really blindfold you, take them off and cut out the centres there and stick over those centres the same red cellophane. There you are, you've got it like that. Now when you put them on, you look a bit weird, and if you go inside to a brightly lit party, you'll get some funny looks. But the point is, everything you see is in colour. It's all in red. So the only part of your eyes that are being affected are those cones, the ones that work for colour vision. So if just the cones are working there, you can stay inside as long as you like, in a very bright light, go outside, whip off your glasses, and suddenly you're using just those rods. But they haven't been affected by the bright light inside because it was coloured. And that's the way you can see in the dark almost immediately. Thank you.